put out Stephen Campbell. Can we talk? Let's get started. So Tevin Campbell, uh, Can We Talk, very, very nice song, very romantic song, very popular in the early 90s, uh, produced by Babyface, uh, written by Babyface, produced by, uh, by him as well, uh, and sang by, or uh, performed by Tevin Campbell. So we're in the key of A minor, and even though we're not going to be using <coughs> uh, just white keys in this instance, it's good to know the key signature. So the key that we're in is A minor, so let me play the notes for you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. One more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And uh, the harmonic scale for A minor would be adding the G sharp in this case. A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A. But uh, going beyond that, let's get started with the chords. So the first opening chord, we're starting off with essentially A minor seventh. So the first chord, uh, A, C, E, G, at the root position is an A minor seventh. But we're going to break up the, the hands so we can play the bass uh, lines a little bit more independently. Uh, and that's all you really need in this case. So the bass chords are as follows. A. The next chord is going to be uh, D minor 7th. But we're going to switch or invert the right-handed chord in this case, which is C, F, and A. And we're going to have D in the bass. So at root position, we would have D, A, F, A, C. That's a D minor 7th chord. But again, we play a little bit differently for the voice voicing purposes. Once again, from the top, we're going off with C, E, G. And then those are the two cadences that you're going to hear at first. C minor. Or C major, C inverted, B flat major. So in the left hand, and G for the third note. So for the three chords that we're going to have, C, E, G, C, F, a, and B flat, D, and F. So very slowly. A, D minor 7th, G minor 7th, G, B flat, D, and F. Now I play the, now I play the suspended chord, which is A flat, B flat, or A natural, B flat, D and F, which is uh, G minor, uh, G sus 2. In this case, we'll just say G minor ninth, which gives it a very elegant and dissonant sound. Now I just roll that chord by uh, playing the thumb, forefinger, middle finger, and pinky all in one motion so I roll that up on the G minor chord so you play the G minor chord pretty much anywhere that you want so you play static but include that A note to give that dissonant effect and then uh, we'll go back to the start so initial chord, A minor 7th, next is D minor 7th, and then G minor 7th, and then add the 9th. You play that G again, and then we pick it up again with the E minor 7th, E, G, B, D. 
That's the E minor chord. So closer on the camera. That's the E minor chord, but we're playing the E down here for more uh, distance, give it a larger sound instead of a tighter sound. So we're playing E minor. Then we're playing E A major, A C sharp E. Pretty straightforward chord right there, A major triad, and then up to a D major chord. D, A, D, F sharp, A. And that's the intro chords, and that's the chorus as well. So one more time, very slowly. I'll call it the chords. So that's the cadence in the left hand. G, E, A, D. One more time with the uh, right hand now, very slow, slowly. And I'll call it the chords one more time. A, two, D, to G. Keep playing the G. E minor, seventh, A major, and D major triad. Well, you're just playing it inverted in the right hand, but ultimately, it still can end up as a, it still will end up as a D major triad. And one final time. Okay, and that's it for the intro and the chorus.